Okay, in this tutorial we are going to rig a pretty much any model, any biped model like one in the uh, T-Pose and we're going to rig that to a uh, first person shooter creator uh, skeleton rig. Uh, doing this all in the program frag motion. So what we're first going to do is we have to import a uh, character from first person creator. So I'm going to uh, import the zombie surgeon because that's the skeleton and animations that I want to use. So click on that. We're going to open. And we're going to wait for this to go. There we go. Now what I want to do here is I'm going to hold down V to select all the vertices. Get them all highlighted. And then I will just hit the delete key. Like such. All right. Now we have that and it's animated and you'll see this is our first person animations and there's that tricky bone right there that always gets hung up and messes everybody up but anyway we'll work on that later then we're going to go back to there we're going to shut that out what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file save as and you have to go all the way back to where we had our local disk C program files let's find frag motion I'm using 1.00 we're on 1.12 now but I'm still using an older one now go to models and I'm gonna save this as zombie surgeon uh, skeleton and I'm gonna save that as a frag motion bug file so now we got that saved or saving it This is what we're gonna, you know, form our. We're gonna form this to our mesh. It might take a minute to save because I'm running Cam Studio here, and it's a big file. Okay, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go up to here into the model information, and we're gonna start scrolling down, and you'll see that there's still a bunch of remnants from the uh, zombie surgeon that we want to get rid of. So right here, I'll say copy of. Uh, the surgeon sheet whatever we're gonna right click on that and delete that and then we'll just start getting rid of all the uh, all the different flags and whatnot just keep right clicking and delete right click and delete now the textures are gone the materials are gone I leave the cylinder and other things in there you'll get little other things but I just usually get rid of all the textures Alright, so now that we did that, we're going to go again to File, and now we can save it, and it should save right back to the Zombie Surgeon Skeleton UG file. Okay, now what we're going to do next is we're going to bring in the model that I want to attach to the skeleton rig, and I'm going to bring in my mummy model. It's a low poly mummy, so I'm going to go to File. Now we have to go down to Merge because we're bringing something else into this project so we'll go to merge I'm going to look here for mummy double click uh, it'll ask you what all you want to bring if you want to bring in animations you can check things uncheck and that's all here and there so we'll click OK because there's nothing on her alright now what I'm going to do again is I'm going to go down here I'm going to hit my control I'm going to hit the V key so I can select all the vertices and now I'm going to hold down the S key for scale and I'm going to go down here I'm going to make sure that the 000 for the origin is uh, highlighted and then I'm just going to keep you want to make sure that's done and let me find and uniform is checked true so you can do that and then you can just keep scrolling across the screen just drag and drag and you will start to bring your model to proportion and we'll leave that right there all right now that we got those two now we got him basically scaled to the size we want him to fit the skeleton and the skeletons in there now you'll see that he's in a T pose but these arms because it was brought in through a uh, frag motion the arms are in a down position the legs are spread out and 
we're going to learn how to move the bones around and everything so that it fits in goes. But, uh, all right, so here we go. I'm going to, what am I going to do here? I'm going to file. I'm going to go to save as. And I'm saving back into models, but I don't want to save it as the zombie surgeon. What I want to do is save him something different. So I'm going to save it as, we'll say, uh, M U M M Mummy and F P S C. And I will save him. Okay, what I'm going to do next now is start getting ready to uh, start rotating and moving the bones on this animated skeleton to fit to the mummy. Now what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to go over to, uh, you'll see this, I don't know what these are, things are called, select everything. But anyway, so we're going to go down here to bone, and we're going to go to rotate object, and you'll see all the information on rotate object. I want center of mass checked scroll down and I also want affect children to be clicked as true and correct animation as true because that's gonna well correct the animation while we move our bones now I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the you know the shortcuts on the keyboard I'm gonna hold down B and I'm going to drag alright my marquee there and it's gonna select all three layers of the bones the bip and all of that so you have to use the drag tool marquee, it'll select all of them. So now I let go of the B, and I'm going to go again back to the rotate, and I'm in the front view here, and I'm just going to rotate it up to try and match a little. And I'm also going to look in the top view, and I'm going to rotate to bring, just trying to line everything up. Alright, now I'm going to do it again for I'm going to click on, hold down B, select U, and then I'm going to, it automatically goes to the rotate after I let go of the B, and we're going to rotate up, we're going to try to get them to match up, and you'll see, I'll come over here and rotate in, because so I'm trying to match up with the wrist there. Now what other bones we have here, we will select, I'm going to hold down B, drag and drop here for the wrist do another rotate up and then come over here and try and bring that in because you'll see the one's the fire spot and the other one is the fingers now you see that I brought those all up there and I lined them up in my views and the bones look pretty good and lined up in there but what I want to do is I'm going to move these bones around a little bit. So I'm going to hit the B again. Select these guys. It's going to affect the children. Now I'm going to hold on M. Yeah. Messed that up. All right. Edit, undo, move. What did I select there? I think I selected all of the vertices. Again, let me hold on the B. and then try with the M nope it's gonna keep moving it undo move alright what am I doing how about we go over here and click on the move and let me make sure that effect children is true and correct animation is true alright let's not do that let's move the bones <laughs> I'm going to bring him back a little bit and then I'm going to hold down B again to select this set of bones and move him up there. I'm trying to fit it in my geometry because that's where I have a higher polygon kind of for bending anything. But uh, and I'm going to go to B again, select U, and bring him back with the wrist there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to show you. Alright, so I have those guys set up, and you can see in the top view here, the way they're set. I think I want to bring the finger tips in, hold down B, highlights, I'm going to move him back. And come here, and move him over. 
you see what I what I messed up. I had to do. I had to click over here in the bone to move object. All right, so we're gonna go back. I'm just gonna do one leg, and then I'll be it for the rotating the bones for you. I'm gonna come here, hold down the B, select. I want to rotate that object, and I'm gonna swing in. And you see that there. And let's go in. And he's lined up pretty well. All right, and then you'll do the same thing for the other side. That's what I did there. You'll do that to these bones over there. So uh, why don't you go ahead and do that, and I'm going to get ready for the next part. All right, guys, what we're going to do now is... We're going to assign the vertices to the bones. We're going to do uh, some influencing care. So what I'm going to do here is hold down the letter V, as in Victor, just to select the vertice. And we'll do one here around the waist. So I'm going to hold down the V. I'm going to select. And always make sure you know your back faces are highlighted so you get all the vertices all around. That'll be fine there. And now what I want to do here is go up here and it'll say assign selected vertices to bone so we're going to bring that up all right on the channel i'm going to go to one because you can go up to four channels which means you can assign these up to four bones uh that's where you get into the the weighting and four different bones will influence those vertices but we're not going to bother with that right now it's a little bit more advanced but so anyway we have uh we're going to channel one here i'm going to move this over here and what I'm going to do now is hold down the letter B and select the bones, drag right there. And now for the weight, you always have to, since we're only going to have one bone assigned to these vertices, we want it to equal full 1.0. That's 1.0. And then it's a uh, I highlighted here with the spine one, and that's what we are. So we're just going to hit the big set button because that'll set both of those. So we set that there, and now these vertices belong to this bone, this uh, the spine bone here. Now let's do this again. Uh, we'll do these vertices right here. All right. And hold on the B for bone. I'm going to select these guys here. And that's the first spine bone that's selected. Weight 100 or 1.00. And we'll click the set button. Now those guys are owned. I did a few other ones. I did the head and whatnot. But we're going to just check real quick here. I'm going to get, click on animation. And you can see that they started to assign, not all of them, but the certain ones that I did. And me back at it. And we'll just start showing that. There you go. It looks ugly right now, but you can see that the, the mesh is now sticking to the bones. And we're going to stop that right there. Rewind. Shut that off. Go back to default pose. That'll work right there. Now when assigning vertices, it's about as boring as UV mapping. It's tedious and boring and you'll have to keep going back many times to reassign vertices, do a ton and ton of tweaking. Um, that has to be done or else your model's going to look like hell. So it's just something you have to get a lot of practice with and no matter how good you get, I mean it will go faster. But there's always tons of tweaking, and you can ask anybody that does this. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to save this guy. A lot of t everything after everything you do, you should always save. And if you'd like to, you could save as I'd save this as Mummy FPSC. You can do it Mummy FPSC one, two, three. It's good to do uh, a lot of different ones. You know, save it. So in case you screw this one up, you can go back a step. I'm not doing that right now because, well, I don't practice what I preach. Usually I do, but for this tutorial, I'm not. 
and like I said, it's going to be a lot of practice. It's not fun, but this is also one of the steps needed to be done to do this. So, all right, um, I'm going to get ready for the next part. You finish assigning all the vertices, the bones. All right, guys, I'm going to show you once all the vertices are assigned to bones, and we're all done here. This is what's going to kind of look like. This is still a little sloppy because I did him very low poly, so you don't get the bend that you should. I'm going to go to animation one, which has them all, and we'll click here. Let me bring him up a little and out a little. Try to get that, and we're going to hit play. And you will see that he's animated. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes when you're uh, rotating the bones and moving them, it'll mess them up a little bit in the animation. So you might have to sometimes actually shift the mesh around a little bit to fit the bones. Um, that's only if you really move the bones. It seems to be the moving it really messes it up. And if you really have to stretch the bones out to fit to the elbows or fit to the knees, then you probably will see some problems in the animation. And that's when you'd go back and uh, redirect, you know, uh, fix the mesh a little bit. So I'm just gonna let him play here for a minute, and uh, that's what he looks like when he's done. And what am I gonna do here? I'm just gonna stop him right there. Go back. Click that off, back to default pose, and you kind of see what that's like here. Um, you'll notice that I have them textured. Uh, you'll have to look at my other tutorial on how to assign a texture to a model. That's also on my website, so you want to check that out. Alright guys, um, now he's all saved, and I'll get ready for the next step. Alright guys, now that we have him all assigned, bump my microphone, um, we're going to export him out in a DirectX format for use in FPSC. So all we're going to do here, now is go to File, and we'll go down here to Export, and I'm going to call him simply what? Just simply, we'll go with Shift. JG, because that's for me. JG, uh, MU, MM, JG Mummy, uh, how about Shift FP for that? I'm going to export him to, okay, we want to get him out of models. I created a little folder on my desktop. Which, let me see here is my desktop. We're going to go to, I believe it was JG Yump Mummy. Yes, it is. And we're exporting as the, where we go here, DirectX file. And it'll take a minute to go through here because I'm running Cam Studio, which, by the way, is a, I believe, open source freeware program. Cam Studio, check it out, it's great. But since that's running in the background, it's going to take a minute for everything to go. Alright, so I'm going to save out as a DirectX file to JG Mummy. So let's click on Save. The format will go with text. Um, you have to make sure that the hair... Yeah, I can't pronounce the word. The hierarchical mesh is checked. Um, I believe I use matrix keys. I just leave that there. The frames per second is 24. That's okay. Um, and then, but yeah, that has to be definitely highlighted. All right, now let's click OK, and we'll wait for this to save. Again, it'll take a minute. And next up, we'll probably go and I'll show you how to do the FPE file, how to alter that, and we'll put the texture in the same folder and hopefully get this working in FPS Creator. Alright guys. Alright guys, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, get us a FPE file to copy and use in our mummy right here. So I set a shortcut to the Game Creators, FPS Creator. I'm going to go through to 
files. Entity bank, because it's in the entity bank. I'm looking for uh, model pack four. Characters. Now I get to scroll through here and look for. I think the zombie surgeon was somewhere down here. Because I use the zombie surgeon. Zombie surgeon, I like to use. Alright, zombie surgeon is the FPE file there. I believe that's, that's for the cop. Alright, so the zombie surgeon FPE, we're going to copy it. Copy, close this out. I'm going to go into the folder that I saved my stuff in. Take it, and I'm going to paste it. Now, what I need to do here is I'm going to rename this FPE file. So let's go to rename, and I'm going to call it the same thing as uh, what my model is. So I got shift. I always say JG MU MMY. FPSC. So enter. So we got that. Now we have that renamed. So it'll go along with that. Now we'll click in here. And the header, you can change all of this in the description if you want. I'm just going to call this right here. I'll go in with uh, JG MU MMY. And we'll go again up here. You mummy, all right. And then we can keep the we can keep the if you want to the appear. That's the basic one. Uh, we're using the animation for people uh, zombie surgeon FPI. All right. Now we're going to go to. All right, you have your destroy your mail. Now for the model, what we're going to do here is going to back that up. And I called my mummy. And that's be the same exact way. JG um M U M M Y JG mummy F P S C JG mummy F P S C uh dot X. Alright. And for the texture, all right, we're going to change. We're going to go here, backspace that. Now you'll see up here, I have it in here as a bitmap image. We'll see how that works. I'll probably, I usually convert them over to DDS files. Um, but I'm going to see with the bitmap how that works. Sometimes it causes problems. But anyway, so we want to put the name of our texture in here. And what I did, okay, I did it in lowercase. G U M M I J G Mummy 2. And it has to be the same exact as this, the same exact name, the uh, capitals, it's all case sensitive, all has to be the same. And then you'll do dash D2, because that's the, uh, the whatever, the texture map. And I think. I think it's BMP for it. Dot BMP. And what we got here? We'll keep the blood. We'll keep all that. Ba 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 ba. That's all the animations. All right, so that should work. And now what I'm going to do here is just go file and save. All right, and we're going to close that out. The while I usually like to do is I just go back and click on that. We see that was renamed we see everything that we put in stayed the same so that's good so now what we have here is we have our uh, X mesh that's the animated mesh in there we have our uh, texture and we have our FPE file so that should be all that's set up in there and if not I'll have to change it and I'll let you know alright so I'm gonna close that out and I'm gonna stop this for now and then we'll get into getting it into the creator or FPSC. So, 
Okay guys, now in order to get our model into FPS Creator, what I'm going to do here, this is where I saved all my, uh, if you remember, that's my FPE, my texture, which I did convert that to a DDS file, and that is my DirectX file. That's all on that folder there. So I'm going to click on it. I just, all I do, I always usually just send it as a copy. And then, like I said, I set up a shortcut so I can find it faster. FPS Creator. Go down to Files. We want the Entity Bank. And I'll scroll down to the bottom to stick it in there. Click down here. And I'm going to Paste. Okay, now you see that it's in the uh, Entities folder and that's my guy right there all right so now we basically hit now we have our model into uh, FPS creator and I will show you now how uh, to open them up in game and get the texture to work with frag motion it doesn't read the texture well so you have to go in and manually set it and I'll go all over that all right so we'll get all uh, ready for the next step and We'll do that now. Okay, once we have our character placed inside the Entity Bank folder, now what we need to do here is go to uh, Entities. We're going to load it. We're going to search for our thing. And there's our JG Mummy. And we'll double click on that. Bring him in. Now you'll see that he has no texture on there. Well, we're going to plan a merit in order to get the texture to work. We'll get rid of that. We have to go back on her till we highlights. Then we have to right click and bring up our uh, properties plane. Okay. Now, what we have to do here is go down towards this texture and it gives us our JG Mummy to. Uh, I did it as a DDS because I like him better. We click on that. Now we you'll see this little thing pops up. It says files. Now we have to search for him in the entity bank. Okay. We go through our characters, where are we at here? And we have to find JG Mummy. Look for him in that folder. You will see the JG, you know, your texture, whatever texture you applied, uh, right there. We double click on that to open it. And then we click on Apply Changes. And now you won't be able to see, well, no, actually, once you click on it, now you'll see how the texture appears on there. All right, so we'll put him there, and you know what? Just for the heck of it, let's give a little rotate, rotate. Put him right there. You'll see that it disappears. All right, now we're going to go in for a test, and we'll give it this a minute to run and set up. And let me go get my gun. Pick that up, pick that up. And now, yep, here he comes. Yeah, that's what he looks like. And we'll try and kill him. And there we go. Now we have a character all done up in frag motion and brought into uh, FPS Creator. So I guess that would probably be the end of the tutorial. Um, I hope you guys learned something. And I should have other ones put up for who knows what else. But alright guys, thanks for watching. And I think we'll end it. Let me escape out of here. Delete that. There we go. And we'll wait for it to load back. And there we go. Alright guys.